Are you ready to earn a high score on the AP Art History exam? Of course you are! That's why you're watching this video. You are going into battle against this beast of a test and you need to be prepared to come out victorious. In this series of videos and forums, you will receive tips and reviews to help build your skills to help you come out on top. Okay, the test isn't really your enemy, but you need to know exactly what to expect. The AP Art History exam is three hours long. It has two sections. The first consists of eight multiple choice questions. You will have one hour to complete this section. The second section is made up of six free response questions. Four of these are 15 minute short responses and two are 30 minute long responses. There are 10 content areas that are tested on the exam from three big ideas. These roughly correspond to the galleries in your coursework over the past year in the course. Battle strategy number one, memorize the 250 pieces. In every question, you will be asked to identify some component of a work of art from the 250 tested pieces. I cannot overemphasize how important it is to memorize the identification information of each piece. But that's so boring. I know it can be, but it is truly the foundation of a winning campaign to get a high score on your AP test. The best method is making your own flashcards, but that can be lengthy and time consuming. A better option is using Quizlet. I found Quizlet match games to be very helpful in making memorization of information fun. You can use mine or search for sets to use. There are hundreds of them. Challenge yourself to get better at identifying works. There is no review that can prepare you for this aspect of the test. It just takes time. Links to Quizlet are provided in the Google form for this video. Battle strategy number two, review works in context. In addition to knowing the identifying information about these pieces, you also need to understand the content, what it means, and the context, what is going on with the artist culture and world when it was made for each piece. Many of you have been using Khan Academy as a resource, but there are other places to investigate as well. Mary McConnell has created a great series of videos on every one of the 250 works relating them to other pieces by culture and time. Consider watching these over the next several weeks to hear the information again in a concise form. A link is provided in the Google form with this video. Note sheets are also available on my website with key information and vocabulary words. Battle strategy number three. Use Google form practice tests and free response prompts. Each of these review videos is accompanied by a series of practice tests in Google Forms. Answers are also provided for you to check your work. These questions are taken from past tests and materials published by the College Board. Each question is labeled with the content area. This can help you locate problem areas to focus on as you study. Identify any questions you miss or do not understand and research the answers and actively work to build knowledge in that content area. Battle strategy number four, manage your time. The AP Art History Test is Tuesday, May 14th. Make a detailed plan and schedule time to review each day. Mix up your reviews. Practice memorization tasks one day and questions the next. Practice analyzing free response prompts and watch some of Ms. McConnell's videos another day, whatever works for you. But whatever you do, be sure to spend some time every day between now and the test reviewing, relearning, and building your skills. Remember, I'm also available to work with you individually and answer any questions you may have. All right, you have a strategy to win this fight now, so let's start training and make it happen. Our next video looks at how to approach multiple choice questions and provides a series of practice questions for you to test your skills.